Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine, and thanks for joining us again in this series of short how-to videos. Today we're going to talk about something very important, and that's how to unload or make safe a double-action revolver. We'll be using this custom Smith & Wesson uh, Night Guard. This happens to be a 44 Magnum, customized by Magnaport, and kind of a nifty gun, actually. But what we're going to do here is show you how do you open the cylinder, how do you unload the gun, how do you make it safe, as we say. Now in this situation, and this will show you something with revolvers, it's, a, it's unique in that if it's loaded, you can actually see the rims and perhaps you might see some bullet noses in the front. So all we know at this point is that this is probably a loaded gun. So keeping our safety rules in effect, finger off the trigger, muzzle pointed in a safe direction. With a revolver, what you want to do is manipulate it however the mechanism for that revolver is. If it's a side latch or a back latch, whatever way you have to open that revolver up, get the cylinder open. We can see that it's got loaded cartridges in it. You can just invert it, let them dump out in your hand. Now what I like to do here is this is a six shot revolver, so I like to count the cartridges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you look at the holes and you say one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have an unloaded revolver now. Put this down and at this point you can now clean it or do whatever it is you want to do. Maintenance or uh, render it safe and store it. With revolvers, remember, some have five shots, some have six shots. As a matter of fact, some 22s now have as many as 12 shots. And when you're dealing with small cartridges like 22, make sure you count them. Make sure you look at every single hole in the cylinder and make sure that the numbers match. And remember, finger off the trigger, the muzzle always pointed in a safe direction. That way, if there is an accident, probably the only thing that's going to happen is a really loud noise when you least expected it. This has not been a comprehensive safety course on how to load or unload handguns, but it's just a quick broad overview of the things you need to keep in mind if you're around handguns or around people who are manipulating them. I'm Roy Huntington with American Handgunner Magazine and well, thanks for spending time with me in my office.